So college math plays when you'll see a problem, something like this, I'm sure. I don't know if it'll be this one, but something like this. You have to remember that there are those rules of exponents that you learned when you were in, I don't know, eighth grade, maybe ninth grade. And this is the rule that we're going to use. And it's when we have this squared and we have x to the m times n power. So we're just going to do that here. x to the 2 fifths times 10 power. Remember, this is 10 over 1 here, isn't it? So you get x to the 20 fifths power otherwise known as x to the fourth power, okay? And the other problem that you wanted to talk about was this one, I think, was solve this, negative 2 over 6 times x minus 1 minus 4 over x minus 1. It looks this way, it's fun to throw us off a little bit. Remember that when the numbers are being added at the bottom or subtracted at the bottom, they're not factors. They're terms. So this is a factor. X minus 1 is a factor. So we're looking for the least common multiple, right? We're looking for a common denominator. Here we have 6 here. And then we have X minus 1, don't we? So here's our X minus 1 here. We have our X minus 1 here as a factor. And we're missing our... Yeah, you're just missing the 6. Good job. You're just missing the 6. And this is a pain because... Here you are sitting in a college trick class, but, right? We just have to do this little bit of work. Um, so, so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to have this negative 2 right here is this one. This negative 4 right here, right? This is a negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, isn't it? All over 6 times x minus 1 is equal to negative 26, isn't it? 6 over, I'm sorry, 20, negative 26 over 6 times the quantity x minus 1. Tell me how I did this. 26 is now 13, and 6 is now 3, isn't it? What did I do? Yeah, just simplified that out. and it's, That's how they're going to do it on that placement test, just to kind of mess with you a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this in. I'm going to pull this negative sign out to the front, if you don't mind. Put it out, put it out like this. And then I'm probably not going to do that little dance I did in the hall. I mean, I could. To my friend. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Remember, this is that AccuPlacer test that the colleges are giving now. So this is after you take the SAT. So you really need to practice this a little bit because it's math that you haven't used in a while, probably.